In this video, I am going to explain ankle muscles. Particularly, I want to focus on two movements, which is inversion and eversion. I want to focus on eversion first. Eversion is ankle movement that you show your plantar surface of foot to outside. By the way, this is outside, this is inside. Okay, so basically, eversion muscles are on lateral part of leg and foot. Let me explain that. There are four muscles that do eversion. Main two muscles are this one and this one. These two are fibularis longus. Fibularis longus and fibularis brevis. Think about it. They are on lateral part of the foot. So when these guys contract, that creates this kind of movement. That is eversion, right? They are main ankle eversion muscles, okay? Okay, next one is also fibularis muscle. This is it. This is fibularis tatius. Fibularis tatius. This is slightly smaller compared to fibularis longus and brevis. But think about it. Its location is also on lateral part of foot. When this guy contracts, that brings foot to this vector. Thus, this vector orientation creates eversion. Simple enough, right? All fibularis muscles do eversion. Simple enough, right? But next one, the last one is a little bit confusing. Last one is extensor digitorum longus. Let me explain why. So last one is this one. This is extensor digitorum longus. Extensor digitorum longus. Why is that? Because this muscle originates from anterior part of leg. And this muscle runs in front part of foot. How come this muscle can do eversion? Because think about axis of eversion and inversion. It's lining like this, just middle part of the foot. Imagine this pink line is axis of inversion and eversion. Extensor deuterum longus crosses this axis line. Can you imagine that? Then what happens when this muscle contracts? This way, okay? This area is lateral part from axis. Thus, this vector creates eversion. Does it make sense? Other three muscles run on lateral part of the leg. It's simple to visualize, right? But extensor tritum longus, it's a little bit confusing, but think about its insertion. It inserts to lateral part of axis of inversion and eversion. Does it make sense? So extensor digitorum longus, it does eversion. Not very strongly, but every single muscle counts, right? So extensor digitorum longus also can do eversion. That's it. Four muscles do eversion. So in next part, I'm gonna do inversion muscles. Okay, that was a lateral view of foot. This is medial view of foot. So this is inside part of foot. Main inversion muscle is this one. This is tibialis anterior. This muscle is also from anterior part. However, think about its insertion and 
where it's running. It's running in medial part of foot. It inserts to medial part of foot. Thus, contraction can bring to inversion. Simple enough, right? This is tibialis anterior. Also, tibialis posterior can do inversion. Tibialis posterior. Think about its direction. It's running on medial part of foot and ankle. Okay? This way contraction makes inversion. Simple. And there are two other muscles from posterior side. This one and this one. These two muscles are flexor of toes. One is flexor hallucis longus. Hallucis? Longus. Hallucis means big toe. Okay. Next one. Flexor digitorum longus. This muscle attaches to four toes. Hallucis longus attaches to big toe. Digitorum longus attaches to rest of four toes. These two muscles also run on medial part of foot and ankle. Thus, these guys can do inversion. Simple enough, right? But last one is also a little bit confusing. When I was talking about eversion, extensor digitorum longus can do eversion. How about extensor hallucis longus, which is this muscle. Do you think this guy can do either inversion or eversion? Yes, this guy can do inversion. So this is extensor hallucis longus. Extensor hallucis longus. Because it runs medial to axis of inversion, eversion. Do you remember from the previous picture? This is it. Imagine, axis of inversion, eversion is like midline of the foot. Where is extensor hallucis longus? Here. It's running medial from axis. That's why this way contraction can bring to inversion. Very slightly, but you, you know, small contraction counts, right? So let's go back to the last picture. Yep. This is extensor hallucis longus. That's it. Five muscles do inversion. Tibialis anterior, tibialis posterior, flexor hallucis longus, flexor digitum longus, and extensor hallucis longus. Let's go to posterior view and you can see more clear relationship. This is posterior view. This is flexor hallucis longus. Hallucis longus, okay? White one is hallucis longus. Blue one is tibialis posterior. Tibialis posterior. Yellow one is flexor digitorum longus. Okay, yellow one is flexor digitorum longus. These three muscles run on medial part of the foot. What happens when these guys contract? That brings this way muscle contraction. That makes inversion, right? By the way, this is medial part. This is lateral part. Now let's think about pivilaris longus and pivilaris brevis. These two are pivilaris muscles. They run on lateral part of the foot. What happens when they contract? That brings foot to this way, this way. This is eversion, right? So, memorizing the movement of joint is a little bit complicated in fast time. But when you visualize where muscles are running, it's simple to memorize the movement of 
joint. Think about tibialis posterior. Rexa digitum longus. They run on medial pad. What are they going to do? Inversion, right? Plus, these muscles run on posterior part of ankle joint as well. What are they going to do? Plantar flexion. So once you memorize the orientation of muscles, it's easy to memorize movement. I know it's hard to do at first time, but when you keep studying, it kind of compounds knowledge. Now you can easily say what they're going to do. Okay. I hope this video helps your understanding of anatomy. If you liked today's video, please hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. See you next video.